Dan here from Lead with Nature with another episode of Learn a Bird. There. Let's see if they do it again. It's tough. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That is the, probably the most common call of a local woodpecker. A woodpecker that here in and where I live in southern Maine here in, in North America wasn't wasn't known to be here, not even 20 years ago. This is one of the many birds that has been spreading its range north as as we see the climate change uh, rather rapidly. We see rather rapid spread of birds that used to have the northern edge of their range further south now extend here into this region. Now it's a super common bird to see around uh, bird feeders uh, all year round even. And so it is known as the red-bellied woodpecker. So this is the red-bellied woodpecker. I know. It's got a red back of the head. There is a slight orangey red tinge to its belly. The thing is they couldn't call it the red-headed woodpecker because that dude's already got that covered. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Red-bellied woodpecker is, um, it's, it's a kind of a curious woodpecker to be honest. Uh, it's a little bigger and beefier than some of our smaller woodpeckers, but it's not like a big monstrous woodpecker like the pileated. Nice. There's a couple that's courting over there. That queer call, that queer, queer, queer kind of thing. They've been doing that for a while. And then every once in a while they're singing. Now, they're not songbirds, so they can't like belt out a kind of beautiful little birdie twerpy song. Instead, uh, because they don't have the vocal cords to do that or the syrinx, the kind of voice box that helps other birds make singy songs. So instead, they bang on things <laughs> called drumming, right? Often it's dead wood, old dead trees like the ones behind me. But sometimes it's the aluminum siding on a house. Uh, I think once it was actually the, one of the fuel tanks on, on a space shuttle back in the 90s. Anyway, sometimes it can be even cars. And this is what they're doing to basically attract mates or to announce kind of a territory, establishing themselves in a the territory. So we call that drumming in the woodpecker world. There they go. Now, can you do some drumming, please? That would be lovely. Um, and so, yeah, that's what woodpeckers do for, sing, for singing. And this time of year, in the spring, there's a lot of woodpecker drumming going on early in the morning. We got fast drumming, slow drumming, drumming that goes doo -doo 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 and slows down. Uh, some that just <laughs> kind of straight across. And you can tell different woodpecker species by their different drumming songs. So there's a good challenge for you if you're into learning woodpeckers. Boy, yeah, they're just chatty this morning. So the red-bellied woodpecker, um, spreading its range north, hanging out at bird feeders, doing really well in that scene. And uh, they're cavity nesters, live in holes in trees like almost all woodpeckers I can think of, yeah. They often will get evicted from their cavities by the European starlings sometimes, so not, not the best, uh, best of love uh, and friendship between them. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Learn a Bird, the red-bellied woodpecker. Uh, go on, if you get a chance, go on and check out leadwithnature.com. See what else I'm up to. Online courses, in-person workshops consulting, mentoring, you name it. Take care. Thanks.